we lost a significant amount there, but uh, suffice to say, Asperger was a Nazi. Anyway. <clears throat> so, oh man, we actually lost a lot of content there because I actually started explaining what, I would, what I'm talking about. Yes. Okay. Anyway. Bionicles have biological components. There's, there's flesh in here. There's a metal skeleton, then there's flesh on top of that, and then there's metal on top of that. And when, and when they, I'm, I'm summing it up because I'm actually, what I'm actually doing is I'm, I'm explaining it to her, and then I'm, <laughs> uh, we're recording it for posterity. Anyway, anyway, S stage zero, I don't remember what that is. Egg pod, question mark, you buy that at the store? <sighs> That might be stage one, actually, not stage zero. Yeah, because like that, if they have an egg, like where'd the egg come from? We'll get there. <laughs> the answer is God. <laughs> oh, okay. But actually, the answer is aliens who built God. <laughs> um. I mean, this is like Xenoblade. So yes. Uh, so you you start out with like a can of like an energy drink can. And when you crack that open, you get pieces. And those, those, those pieces assemble themselves into one of these guys. Or one of these guys, if it was a dude who already existed and then went into cryostasis. Or in, in quotes. Uh, when they're pieces, they're gray. And then when they assemble themselves, they turn a color. And the color corresponds to one of the factions. Um... If you're blue, you're a girl. If you're the different blue, psychic, then you're a girl, but maybe trans. Because psychic, as an element, started out being a male thing, and then the gods were like, ah, this is too volatile, this is too messed up. Uh, in order to like apply temperance to this situation, you have to be women. Anyway. Our most important guy, represented here, the is... women know how to keep it under wraps. <laughs> Our most important guy is debatably intersex? Like, it's not, it's not textual, but it is strongly implied, and it's thematically coherent to interpret it that way. Yeah, they're half blue, half... Yeah, he's blue on the bottom half. The, the legs are one piece. Which you might argue is the most important half. <laughs> In Bionicle, that's not the actionable half, actually. Anyway, you, you start out as one of these, um, well, you start out as a pod, and then you probably turn into one of these guys as, as pieces. And then you live your life in this, in one of eight villages, more or less, that is actually really fashy. It, like, Bionicle Society is really fashy. Mm -hmm. But there's a reason for that. That doesn't get in, probably invented until much, much later. <clears throat> um, this guy, our most important guy, um, isn't introduced until the second arc. And really, the tail end of the second arc, which is a CG movie, uh, most of the story is told via DC Comics. These are DC Comics. Which is why I know a lot about them. <laughs> Which is the only way any of this makes sense to me at all. Yeah, yeah. That um, I've just known far too many autists. <laughs> um, it was hard for me to actually collect the issues of the comics because they didn't sell them where I went to go to get things because I was a child. <clears throat> anyway. You're one of these guys. And you live a long time because they're they're biological, but they're also machines. What do they do in their society? What does anybody do in society? <laughs> do they eat? Yes. Okay. Yes, they do. Da da da. What? It depends on like each each village has its own biome. There's like there's like some desert guys. There's like a volcano guys. There there's they there's, eat biomaterial as well. Yeah, I mean. they eat biological material. They don't drink oil straight out the fuel pump. 
I believe there's all they they can have like organic matter and minerals. Like there are some rocks that they can eat. I think. Okay. Special rocks, ba- like energon. Basically, if you've seen Transformers, another very autistic subject. Less autistic. It is as hard as it is for me to say this. That is true. You you would hate to give ground to the Bionicles. Yeah. Like, they don't have a trans tribe in the, Transformers. Right. They're right. all trans. They're mm, yes, <laughs> and formers. Okay. So, you live your life as one of these guys for a long, long time, and then if you prove yourself to be a very special person, um, or you, like, have a lot of potential, or you're in the right place at the right time, then one of these guys, who, uh, this is called a Matoran, um, this is a Toa. Sufficiently knowledge people will have their cultural appropriation alarm bells just blaring right now because Toa is, as as a special designated person, is already a thing in Polynesian mythology where a lot of the names for these for this stuff comes from. A lot of the names and words come from an existing real mythology, practice and religion practiced by real people today. Little, little fucked up. Yeah. They're autistic. I give them a pass on this one. They're not evil. They're just <clears throat> autistic. I'm sure... Like, I wouldn't know what a Toa was if it wasn't for this. So... Shrug? Tangential learning? Is it is it promotion? Well, it's not, it's not the... It's not the actual Polynesian peoples at the helm of this thing. Anyway... Uh, a Toa is like kind of like a superhero. Yeah. Basically, both in the lore and here in Bionicle. In DC Comics. <clears throat> when a Toa gives his Toa status to a Matoran to promote that Matoran to Toa, the Toa becomes one of these guys. Okay. Uh, they become a little guy. Yeah, they become an elder. I forget what those are called. What those are called. I think it's for the T, Taraga. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Someone's someone's very mad. <laughs> well, fuck them. Yeah. This should inspire them to get. If if you are angry enough to care about that, then you are angry enough to make your own video. Yeah. With like editing and hookers. <laughs> And research. Okay, uh, the the stick that he's holding is important because usually these guys hold sticks. Yes, that is true because he said it. Mm-hmm. You know, you know how I said there were eight factions, or there, that's, and then I said there were sixteen factions. Well, there's kind of ten elements, not eight. And this guy is one of those other elements. Because he's a hybrid? I don't actually know if there's a causal relationship there, but he is exceptional. Um, so their, their society and their religion, their, their spiritual beliefs are based around... Um, basically, like devotion and conformity and service to others which are very easily corruptible the way that they are described and the and the you wouldn't necessarily want to take this on yourself for the same reason why stoicism in its pure form like in its original form is kind of poison because these guys were all created to be slaves. That's why they're like that. For... There are some aliens who built some robots, and then those robots failed, and then they built robots mixed with biology, bionicles, yeah. to be slaves 
for thousands of years. And they gave him a false god to worship or something? If I remember right, they left the Bionicles to their own devices to, like, okay, uh, this is an idle game now. You guys pursue this task, and we'll come back and come and check on you in 7,000 years. In the middle of that, <clears throat> there, some, some interplay between their biological and mechanical components, they were able to assert some degree of free will, and in their grasping for purpose and the memory of having like bigger guys above them telling them what to do, they built a god. Okay. Partially at the directive of the aliens who who set this whole thing off in the first place, but partially not. Gotcha. Um, their god, uh, Matanui, is the name of the place that they live on because... And this is where it gets hazy, because this is where I stop reading the comic. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, on the one hand, Matanui is the name of their god. On the other hand, Matanui is the name of their island. A, a, a big... Um, hang on. This kind of shape that they live on. Okay. But also... It's rounder than that. It's like it's like that. But also, if you were to zoom way out, there would be one lump here, and then some more lumps down there, that if you squint, looks kind of like a person's skeleton. Basically, like, like there's a shape here, and there's a shape here, and there's like some a chain of islands off this way, and there's a chain of islands off this way, and it's a person. Yeah. But then, if you, like, walk out, like, find us the right tunnel and you walk out of it, you'll walk out onto a giant robot shoulder. So is that entire planet and its oceans contained inside the body of that robot? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. So, uh, like, they live on a spaceship? They live on... No. He, that guy is standing in an ocean on a planet. Oh. And that planet is between, like, is is one of three planets that were, like, that used to be one planet, and then they, like, like, how you, like, uh, wear those the red and blue 3D glasses, but there's three of them, and it's split apart into three. This really is, like, Xenoblade. Yeah, right? <laughs> and But, the, like, in the opposite direction. The end, the end goal for the story is to reunite everything into one world. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, we we did get to points of divergence eventually. Okay. Oh yeah. Also, they have a devil. Um, yeah. Is that just a dude? Um, or is he? An, or is he an alien who is evil? It, it's one of it's one of these guys. Oh okay. But he's like bigger. He's like he's like as much taller than one of these guys as one of these guys is taller than one of these guys. I drew this to scale. For, Basically. Yeah, they're little goblins. Their their heads are all the same size, and these are the relative sizes of their bodies. Because they can like, switch. Because they can, like switch masks to like gem views or something, right? Is that true? I mean, if you there is a <laughs> okay, so you get a bunch of these guys together. I think you get four of them together, and they can like pull their parts apart and combine to be one big guy, exactly like gem fusion. Yeah. They have their own. They have their own name, and they have their own life experience. And you have to stay in sync with each other in order to do this. But also, your distinct personalities are there. But also, you are one merged consciousness for a while, and it feels really powerful. And you can like break. You can then go back to being yourself afterwards. It's exactly like Gem Fusion. You know what so I'm saying is that Steven Universe was Bionicle. So. Tier zero, I don't know. Tier one, Steven Universe. Tier two, Transformers. Tier three, Bionicle. <laughs> <laughs> no, tier three, Xenoblade. Tier four, Bionicle. There. <laughs> Write your own tier list in the comments. <laughs> check with, check to see where we're still rolling. It is okay. Um, because we lost footage, I'm I was paranoid about that. All right, so so 
so they have a devil na- uh, named Makuta. Yeah. Um, and he's, he's like, okay. Team of eight. Let me see if I can remember them all off the top of my head. Okay. Oh, yeah? There's a fire guy. There's a water girl. Water's all, uh, girls always have water, and water is always girl. Sploosh. <sighs> That's their one power. Also, you see how the leg is a triangle? On the on the girl ones, the leg is upside down, so it's it's thicker up at the top. So they got thinner. thighs. So they have thighs. Yes. God, that's that is really autistic. <laughs> okay, fire guy, water girl, only girl. They're separate from water. There's an ice guy. He has X-ray vision. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ice is clear. Uh, yeah, basically. I, and Ice is the white one. Um, okay. By the way, the the power that the that the uh, let me see if I can combine this too. Okay, so we got we got the 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 fire guy has a shield. Sure. Um, water. The mask. What it does is it gives you the power to breathe underwater because they do have to breathe because they are partly made of flesh. Yeah. They have organs or something. But this means that these guys who don't have powers live in the water, but they can't breathe underwater. Only the Toa can breathe underwater. So wait, how do they breathe underwater? <laughs> they 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 have to breathe air. Why would you live there? <laughs> so can they not? Is that just a plot hole? They have like like like. Uh, their their buildings are like at the water or like on the water like like how there's places where you would build a house so that it comes up and down with the tides you know yeah 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 it's, it's one of those okay I thought you meant that they like live in the bottom of the ocean sometimes they do in like sea labs yeah yeah but they have to have air yeah they need they need air oh this is only the powers for this generation every single generation they introduce a new suite of powers. Sure, yeah, whatever. Um, let's see. There's one that's stone. Don't remember what that one does. Rock power. Yeah, rock power. Maybe it's strength. Eh. Lame. Uh, there's a ground type. <laughs> um, uh, uh, the earth type. Weirdly, the earth type, I think it either gets speed or like hovering. Because they're like robots, they got they got robot feet, and then like jets come out of the bottom, and they they can like Earth slow fall, Earth, Earth levitation. I uh, mean, technically, the Earth is levitating in space if you think about it that way. Okay, good. There's if you're an idiot. <laughs> That's why I said you could. I was trying to be polite. Um, let's see. There's a wind guy. Who's like jungle themed, which is weird because it's a jungle island. Should they all be yeah. jungle guys? Yeah. Um. That's six. Come on, I'm running out of colors. Uh, what are Black. They? Um. Maybe it's the maybe the green. Maybe the wind one. Uh, black is stone. They live underground. The Dwarfs. Dwarfs. Yeah. I wonder if I'm wrong and it's six types, but actually there's eight. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe. Because I just hit six and I can't think of more. Sure. That's correct now. Unless you forgot green. Green is the is the air one. That's, that's the jungle guys. Black is the stone ones. Brown for... Um, I remember there was a green guy who was like a bug or something. That was really cool. That's a different species. Lame. <laughs> Downvote. <laughs> um all right so so our boy here he his his power is light there's not a light village but there is a light guy and he's gold and all of his stuff is gold this is this is technically like not the final form in terms of like power level they can like get their in at least the first run, they get they get a little taller, and they get more stuff on them. They get, like, armor. And then their mask, they, they swap out their 
one mask that has all the powers for a bigger mask that is more powerful and has like more crinkliness on it. Yeah. And it's only the one power again, but they can confer that power on multiple guys. Okay. So if you're standing next to shield guy, everyone around him has a shield also. But their own shield. Gotcha. And then those they get gold ones of those eventually anyway, so the whole point is moot. <laughs> there are lengthy databases of all of these powers and they try not to have repeats yeah I mean you don't, you don't want to have like stands are all unique mm -hmm. you don't want to repeat a power that's boring yeah except I don't think that is I think you could repeat powers and like it's actually more interesting that makes you think with the restriction, but sure, whatever. Um, let me see. I kind of lost my place. Yeah. Anyway, he goes directly to being one of the Super Toa. Oh. Uh, Toa Nuva, I think? Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, and Makuta is just some third thing. He doesn't look like any of these guys. The, the devil? He yeah, the devil. Um, Makuta Teradax is, is, is the devil. and he's, What if he's like a gem fusion of like his three, his three generals and him? <laughs> uh, he, he's also the darkness guy, implying that, that our special boy is going to be the light guy. Ooh. Lame. <laughs> Um, he, their, their devil is also responsible for, um, like, not killing their god, but, but, like, putting him into a coma, more or less. If you, if you walk out of that tunnel, the body, like, the giant mecha body is there, but it's stationary, and it doesn't move until the guys do some special things. I don't remember what that what those special things are, but they they have to go they have to go like push a button or something to turn it back on. They have to reboot God. Yeah. Um, they didn't have to reboot Bionicle at this rate. They did. Oh, good. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I hope they made it even worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, also. Uh, Golden Boy and the Devil gem fuse into one guy. Okay, that and, sounds pretty cool. Actually, I like that. Yeah, but then they when they defuse, Teradax is like gone, and or like a disembodied spirit or something. Okay. And Golden Boy is just back to being Golden Boy. Golden Boy kind of sucks, by the way. Like I. I kind of hate him until he's a Toa. Gotcha. I mean, yeah, he's probably a little kid, and that sucks. I can imagine. Except they don't have, like, a kid form, because they're, they're servitor robots that are just made basically in their adult form. Yeah. But he sucks anyway. That movie was really frustrating to watch. Why did you watch it? Because I was 11. Oh. <laughs> that makes so much more sense. There you go. Or something like that. I don't remember when that movie came out. So, conclusion. What, what, what is Bionicle Sex? Okay, so if I'm remembering right... Bionicle, even, even if you're not, just keep going. Bionicle, because they have biological components, they can... Reproduce. Where do they get the base materials? They're a little vague on that. But also, when they introduce a... There, there's this woman villain that they introduce way after I stopped caring about the show. How progressive. Uh, and where... Well, don't, don't speak too soon, because she's the only one who has a different chest plate. Okay. What does that mean? We think it's boobs? We think boobs? 
But also, okay, so you see how their hand piece is like this big... They have claws. Right? Yeah. Yeah. They have like a lobster claw type situation, and it fits a ball and socket joint, I think. Yeah. Um, the blue ones also have one of those right here. So they have a little bit extra material there, but it's not like curved. Except for this villain that I'm that I've been talking about. She has like differently shaped body plating that is curved. And the only time anyone is horny in this series is at her. So it's not that progressive. <laughs> wow, I really grew up with its audience. <laughs> Uh, I'll leave you to, to Google Dummy Thick Bionicle on your own. People did, like, use the variety of pieces to make Dummy Thick Bionicles. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna look that up right now. <laughs> Do it. Quick, explain, continue to explain what Bionicle sex is. Okay, so... Before, like, getting into that, I have to get into how their healing works. Because they do get injured and stuff. And they can eat. And they can, like, partially rebuild. And they can heal their flesh parts. Wait, and... that's the chest part? I'm sorry. I, I, I've just looked this up. What the fuck, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Those are just hits. <laughs> that's Dummy Thick Bionicle. That's different. That's not the official one. That was a that was a fan made model. I don't remember what what uh, voluptuous woman villain's name is, so I can't give you something to Google. Fucking Nova Corps. Keep going. Um, I'm doing the research. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so not only really can they heal their flesh parts, but by eat, like eating min minerals, metal, getting metal pieces from the world, scavenging machine parts, they can repair themselves, but separately from that, they can heal their damaged machine parts. Are their flesh parts healing their machine parts? Meh. Mm. My, my, if I'm remembering right, and this is like really casting it back, so this could be the wrongest thing that I say, but believe me anyway. If Bionicles reproduce biologically, they then have to, like, go to a place where there's a bunch of raw materials in order to, like, make whatever the zero form is that turns into a pile of parts that turns into one of these guys. And there are more of these guys. More of these guys show up. Like, if, if uh, the Borok or the Rakshi show up, which are, like, monsters, they... Uh, and they kill a bunch of Matoran. And, like, fully kill their biological parts. We do get more Matoran back later. So clearly they're able to repopulate. Yeah. They've been through, like, seven apocalypses. And not the least of which being when their god was put into safe mode. Or, or, or like, put on standby, basically. That was one of them. Let's see. They used to all live in a city called Metru Nui. <laughs> uh, the that city like was going through an ecological collapse, and then it got invaded by mo spider monsters, and then everybody got turned into a spider monster, and then when they turned back, the, things were heavily depopulated. Yeah, do it. Show up. Show them. Here, here. Dummy thick bionicle. That's not even the pose that I was thinking of. Well, no, this is official. Oh, that's the official one. Okay. I remembered her as having, like, orange and blue parts. Well, this is, like, an official one. I don't think it's that character in particular, but, yeah. They reuse models because you have to. Yeah. Because lore reasons, but also because, dude, this is the cheapest shit we ever made in our life. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, bionic reproduction. Or, they can fire up the factory. 
and that would just churn out new ones without parentage. Do you have a conclusion to this? The factory is in a place that is where they started, and where God was built, where, where Matanui was built, but not actually directly built by the aliens, but the factory was built by the aliens. I don't remember if the aliens are all dead now. They may have, like, when the aliens came back to let be like, hey, no more free will, stop that. They might have rebelled and killed them. As I was, the first time that I was, like, re like listening through and reading through and watching this all more this more convoluted than Necron more. Yeah. Uh, the first time through with this lore for me, I was getting very strong. Um, what's the what's the Blizzard thing? Uh, Starcraft vibes off of yeah. this. Yeah. All right. Do I have a conclusion? You should have just made up what sex they have. <laughs> well, because they don't have like. All right, they do have mouth parts. Presumably, they have other parts. Is there? A, there could be an interchange of flesh. I can get a lot of sex done with my mouth parts. Yeah, exactly. Man, I'm gonna send this video to some people that I know who care very deeply. Like, the charts that my friends have made about Bionicle. That's why they're your friends. <laughs> I haven't thought about Bionicle since... Alright, there's now. The last time I thought about Bionicle was when uh, this buddy of mine sent me a Bionicle video and was like, yo, I've been watching this guy lately. I'm really into him. And I just... I watched, like, half the videos on that guy's channel, like, trying to... trying to pull back what I remembered from my childhood. It was... I'm... I kind of dodged a bullet on that one. I feel like that would have been a huge space in my brain that was filled with character relationships... The, pr produced by a company that was gonna let me down. Yeah. Bionicle, guys, guys, Bionicle doesn't love you back. This, this is your way out. DC Comics doesn't love you back. Marvel Comics doesn't love you back. Stop. I can't stop on, on two of those. But I did stop on Bionicle. <laughs> All right, that's the PSA. Signing off, liners. See you next time.